Welcome back to Chris Warren's Pro Shop, and today we're going to talk about the road. The new release is coming out Friday the 19th. Um, pretty impressed with this ball so far. It's a hybrid cover shell, like a hybrid, but it has an AI core. Now the numbers are still the same. It, I think the RG went up 1,000th or 100th. It's, it's 255 at 045 now. So uh, the hybrid shell, the AI core, uh, ball's really impressive. Um, Danielle did a little thing on Friday night. She caught me shooting 300 with it. We were just playing around and and uh, bowl a little tournament and shot 300 with this. So it's uh, it's very unique. It keeps the pins really low. Uh, really excited. It uh, probably will make the bag. Uh, everybody knows the history with me and high roads is they change directions a little bit too hard for me. But this one seems to be a little bit smoother, a little bit more controllable. Alrighty. Well, let's see how this goes. I'm going to stand pretty much where I start every time I bowl on the house condition, which is going to cross pretty much in between the second, third arrow, closer to the third, go to about the eighth floor, about 45 feet, and let's see what she has. So we know our standard normal move, just soften up a little bit, give it a little more room to the right and see what she does. Pretty much, gave it a little more room to the right, a little bit to the right, things look really good. every turn. That looks really, really good. Well, we know why it's pretty good. So let's, uh, let's make our standard move. Let's see if uh, the, the little bit straighter. I don't know if that's going to be a, a good idea because this ball really seemed to pick up and be really strong in the back. So but we're going to try it anyhow. I'm just going to kind of just flop her down there a little bit. covering a lot of ground right there and that ball made it back with no drive let's see what happens we slow down and keep our back So now what we're going to do is, I have an exponent pearl. Uh, this ball has made it into my bag. Uh, we did a little thing about it a couple months ago. Uh, they're very similar, but this ball is a little bit longer because it's a pearl. It's a little bit longer. It's a little more angle. Uh, I'm going to have to move my feet to the right. Uh, break point's still going to be about the same as, as the high road, but I mean, it's not going to be much different, but there is a significant difference on how far it skips. And that is why that ball made the bag right there. Because I keep that. That was just horrible, and it just looks beautiful. It just looks good. 
So, com compared to the exponent, uh, standard-wise, the exponent seems to go a little bit farther and, and breaks a little bit sharper just because of the shell. The numbers are really close. Um, they're actually really, really close, which makes a huge difference in the bowling balls themselves. Not only the shell uh, composition, but the surface texture. These balls both have the same surface on them. And that is what's amazing about it is that I actually get to see about two to three feet more skid with my exponent and a little more recovery than my high uh, my road, but my road is smoother uh, reaction wise. It's going to be a transitional ball. Late block. You see how that ball just. It was left, but you saw that it just kind of sat there, sat there, sat there, sat there. Boom. And it's, that's kind of what we're looking for. Uh, as I said, these are, are, are transitional. I need a little more uh, dirtiness on the lane, I guess is a good way to put it. Uh, the front part needs to curve a little more uh, so you can actually see how fast this ball goes through the front part of the lane. Okay, so numbers wise, here we go. Uh, this is when we moved in and curved it uh, quite a bit. So you look at this and you would take a look at it and you say, well, that's, that's not bad. It's a 6.6 .6 inch impact angle, uh, which was really good. Uh, speed was really good. And then we come up to here. Uh, and this is just the standard. Uh, just my standard, and that's the one at flat 10. Now you notice that it, the impact angle was a lot more, so it actually finished behind the head pin just because it skidded farther. And as I said, that's the one that we mislapped in the oil. But then when we got back to the one that was really good right there, that was really good as far as being tight inside control. Everything was really good about that. Uh, you know, and as I said, when we compare it to the uh, the exponent, the exponent was just a little bit different. Um, the exponent created a little more angle down line. And so, but you can see that uh, they're really close. They're really close, uh, but not crazy. Not crazy uh, when we start looking at them. There we go. And so, in all in all, uh, I think that the road is going to fit my bag because I don't have a lot of hybrids. I, I need one and I need a symmetrical hybrid. Uh, and as I said, uh, the high road was, is, is so hard for me to control because it wants to snap so hard. And this one's a little bit smoother. So, I would say that that ball is going to make my bag and uh, it's going to complement my exponent later on. Game's probably 5-6 uh, towards the end of the transitional period on uh, medium length patterns, the ones that change the most.